Four of them played for the World Junior Team that Trey Augustine backstopped Team USA to a gold medal in Gothenburg, Sweden. So this has all the ingredients of an instant classic, and here we go. They're off in skating mission. Along with Geary there. Now it's Baskell turning back to collect for the Spartans. Isaac Howard tipping that out at center. Ernesty, he's a big lad. Right in front, Michigan! Nazar gets the first one for the Wolverines. 59 seconds in. Wolverines coaches refer to him as a linebacker on skates. Nazar with the nifty tip, but watch the work by Ernesty just powering past Geary and centering who had Nazar with inside positioning on Isaac Howard. And in the first minute, Mich but with Shivsky moving between Rector McGordy and Gavin Brindley, that allows a third line of T.J. Hughes with Dick Moldenhauer and Marcus Stoppin. T.J. Hughes with over 40 points. Not many third-line centers in college hockey with 40-plus points. I think T.J.'s got 42. Oh, one hopper there that was a challenge to handle for Barczewski. Michigan looking for their third straight Big Ten tournament title. So they've dusted off Minnesota the last couple of years. It's an all-Michigan affair this season. Fantilli trying to keep shouting away. Kelly gets it. Scores. Tanner Kelly. The depth factor for Adam Nightingale's Michigan State Spartans as Tanner Kelly scores his fourth of the season against the Wolverines. Hard on the forecheck as Shouty put it out front and Tanner Kelly is there to elevate it over top of Jacob Barczewski. Right. Michigan can maintain their little momentum from the last couple of shifts. Big lads out there. Shifsky, McGrory and Brindley. They win the faceoff, but they'll have to go back and collect it. Yeah, Spartans had the edge in the faceoff circle in the first period. Big rebound there. Daniel Russell finds it on the doorstep. Well, this is a line for the Spartans that pushes the pace and Daniel Russell who scored last week opened the scoring for the Spartans against Ohio State gets his second in his many games Wolverines can't get it out at the point and then the tip to Russell Isaac Howard quick reaction McGrordy Casey unable to keep it in. He's got to be careful. Good job to keep Lepster at bay there. Hughes loses it, but Hughes gets it back, flicks it back on the point. Here's Seamus Casey. Casey McGrody, the one-timer. Three down, they score. Duke on the doorstep. Michigan has tied it. Well, this goal starts with Seamus Casey, who leads the Big Ten in assists. This is number 38. Did a little shake and bake on Reed Lebster. Sent it across McGordy's one-timer. Look at that backhand sauce. The one-timer. And look who's there to collect the loose change. That's his office. 11th power play goal of the state. Or your skate set the stage for your eyes and your glove and your body positioning. And being such a great skater allows Augustine to always be set, always be square to the puck, it seems. Makes it look easy. What Red Savage tell us this week, it's like watching him play goals, like watching a musician play his instruments. Here's Warren right in front, shoots, he scores! What a goal! Marshall Warren and the Wolverines have the lead. Marshall Warren could not have picked a better time to score his third goal as a Wolverine. 
shows forehand, goes backhand, and goes up top. And it's that fourth line going to work for the Spartans. Draper hard, the four check, freed it up for LaPointe. Out front for the fifth year player and former body to get a step. That's tough to do on Seamus Casey. Yeah, that's where Casey's game has improved this season. We all know what he can do offensively, but shutting plays down in his defensive zone, and he just did it on Reed Lester. Neenhouse looking to shoot it. He does, but off of Wolverine and wide. Trying to bank it in off of Barczewski. Michigan State trying to create something there from below the goal line. Not a bad idea. Yeah, that was real, real close to being in. You can see Nico Mueller says, hey, take a look at that. Officials are going to get together. I thought I saw it right on the goal line. And this is... This is one of those that can be either a coach's challenge or they're showing it on the overhead here and the crowd is pretty convinced it's in. Let's get another look at it. Right side of the net. It's the previous in, but play. the 13 in Michigan's favor. Here we go. After video review, the puck completely crossed the goal line. We have a goal. Good defensive stance there. Shouty, rink wide feed for Tanner Kelly, one of the Spartan goal scorers this evening. Down to 20 seconds. Shouty in front. But he's still a try. There's Shouty for checking, causing some havoc. Knocking the puck loose. Ten seconds to go in the period. That's elevated skied into the air. But wait. We have to see if that puck was in before time expired. Officials huddle again. And guess what? We'll have another review for sure. For certain. Let's look. All on the ice is good. Goal. That's good. Wow. Two second teamers, so. It's entertaining, and that's why. Skated in. Duke shot tipped in. Michigan has tied it. Frank Nazar first out of the pile. His second goal of the game. And 254 into the third. And you're sure that up top. Now ah, that's clean. No, no kicking motion there. Now you can go, you can go into the crease. Driving it wide, five seconds to go. Here's Baskell. Well wide. And this championship game is gonna be decided in sudden death overtime. And by my accounting, it will be the fourth Big Ten playoff championship. You called the Mark Zengerly goal the very first year for Wisconsin. And then it was Jeff Jackson's fun title. Spartans looking to become the third number one seed to win it all. And off we go in sudden death overtime. And Cucciardi. Sturbach gets a little help to get that puck in. Mueller gloving it down. Manisto, Michigan State, forced back to center. Launched in by Sturbach. There's Edwards. Duke to Ernesty. Gucci already does well defending. Davidson for Lepster. Nico Mueller.
Patrick Geary, the point shot. Game winning goal. Number two starts the celebration. Davidson was in the vicinity for the deflection, but it might be his as well. Either way, overtime. Welcome back, Michigan State campus. That's the trophy that the Spartans are going to celebrate with in a moment. Thanks to the overtime game winning goal. A stay at home defenseman Patrick Geary. And the party is on for Sparty. So we, so we move things down to Fred Pletch with the guy who provided the game winning goal. They stuck with us, super proud of him. Well, how about this atmosphere? Oh, it's unbelievable. Fans have been great, super supportive. Um, to see him come back in droves, and they were here at four in the morning. I mean, it's a pretty special night, and glad we could win it in front of them. Congratulations! I know you've got some celebrating to do. Thanks, Fred. Appreciate it. Adam Nightingale, Coach of the Year, and now the coach of the Big Ten Playoff Champion, Michigan State Spartans, for the first time. Celebration continues. Two goals, a minute 17 apart. Propel this team to overtime. A picture to remember for the Michigan State Spartans.